man, tech news, like, so weird, like, ah, like, like what? <laughs> Anyways, so stupid. <clears throat> Intel can just not catch a break these days as yet another side channel vulnerability has been found in the company's processors. Dang it, Intel! Come on! This one is called Cash Out because it could enable an attack that exploits the CPU's caching mechanisms to select what data to leak as opposed to waiting for a big dump of non-specific data, which is how other speculative execution attacks work. The disclosure of this new vulnerability comes just as Intel releases its third patch meant to fix the zombie load, aka MDS flaws, but as oh. <laughs> they can't, they just can't get ahead of it. But as reported by researchers, the previous patches didn't fix the whole thing, so no. There, there's no guarantee this one will either. Now, one reason why we keep hearing about these new flaws is that Intel's chips are still based off architecture from more than seven years ago, whereas AMD Zen architecture is only around four years old and not as widespread. So we might be hearing about a bunch of flaws in Ryzen processors in a few years, okay guys? So let's not be so quick. Let's not be so quick to talk about, you know, how much Intel sucks right now, although th that is exactly what we're doing right now. L lol. Well, we now know that Samsung's second foldable handset is called the Galaxy Z Flip. We also know basically everything else about it. German language site winfuture.de got its hands on official renders of the Flip. <laughs> That's what you call it in German. In a dazzling purplish indigo kind of color. What color is that, James? I'm not looking at it. It's got a 6.7 inch display with an extra one inch always on display on the back for when it's folded. It's got a Snapdragon 855 plus, eight gigs of RAM, dual 12 megapixel rear cameras and a 10 megapixel selfie cam, 3300 milliamp hour battery with quick and wireless charging, plus a side mounted fingerprint scanner. I got a headphone jack. <sighs> <laughs> nope. The only thing that remains unclear is whether we need something like this at all. Like apparently when it's folded, it's 17.3 millimeters thick. So instead of having like a thin rectangle in my pocket, I could have a thick square. Why don't you just get two phones? <laughs> Duh. And Huawei. Wow. The bastards actually did it. The company is going to be allowed to build out 5G network infrastructure in the UK after all, but in a limited role that will prevent Huawei equipment from being used in sensitive core parts of the country's networks. Now all that's because the UK's National Cyber Security Center analyzed Huawei's technology and supply chain and concluded that Huawei was a high risk vendor but is asking British companies to use Huawei in a limited way so we can collectively manage the risk. The EU is following the UK's lead, recommending that member states choose their own 5G suppliers, but basically be very careful about it. So at this point, this is like, look, we ordered pizza and uh oh, who delivered it? A mass murderer. He's at the door right now. Do we take it? <laughs> he might kill us. Just don't let him in the house. Yeah, yeah, you can like open the door the and kind of, yeah. Turn what the pizza if... sideways and spread it through the crack. <laughs> that, there we go, that should be fine. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by iFixit. They've got parts and tools that make it affordable to fix or upgrade your consoles, even the Nintendo Switch. They've got all the parts you need to fix that drift on your Joy-Con, install a new battery, even replace your fans. Make that Switch run like a new Switch iFixit also has helpful guides that show you how to do all that step by step. So head to ifixit.com slash techlink to get everything you need to keep your Nintendo Switch and other game consoles running like you never even picked them up in the first place. I, I want, want some, some bits. What kind? Give, give them quickly. The quickest bits. It's Tarzan. I don't know what song. Oh. <laughs> Intel's desktop chips might be sucking more than ever, but on the low end, mobile side, there might be something to get excited about. El Chapuzas Informatico spotted an Intel Lakefield processor on user benchmark, and yeah, it's 85% slower than a 10th gen Core i3, but it'll run at a fraction of the power, enabling higher power models that will give Qualcomm a run for its money in mobile devices. <laughs> Exciting, huh? Yes! Ow! That was the hardest it's cold high five 
The coronavirus continues to spread, and while the world is still sorting out whether this is a genuine emergency, Google is being proactive by temporarily shutting down its offices in China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan, and will keep them closed after the Lunar New Year holiday ends. Samsung and Foxconn are also shutting down their Chinese factories, along with many other manufacturing plants in the country. So while technology cannot catch human viruses, the industry may see an impact all the same. Eve, the company responsible for the great crowdfunded EV Windows 2-in-1, that's a tongue twister, is back with the Spectrum Monitor, featuring pretty awesome specs, like a 27-inch IPS panel, HDR 400 with 450 nits brightness, and a QHD 144 hertz version for 364 bucks. Ah. Ah. The only question is, will they ship it? Because many people are still waiting for their EVs that they ordered a long time ago. Just give them your money and wait to find out. <laughs> That's the, that's, the, that's the gist. Eve says they've solved their shipping problems, but who knows if that's true? You? Me? Adam? <laughs> He's pretty smart. Bible reference. Oh. <laughs> LTD is probably going to review this uh, monitor, so maybe just wait, I, I, I know it's hard. And researchers have started tracking fishing fleets by attaching radar sensors to albatross, okay? So it's one thing to track animals in the wild, it's another thing to use animals to track us. Before we know it, Facebook's going to be stealing our dogs and implanting cameras in them. And then they'll know how we talk to our dogs. I don't have one, but you do. I grab her a little Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> 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 See, I don't like it. Look, I know when an episode has gone too far, so I'm ending this. Come back on Friday for more tech news and we'll talk to you how we talk to our dogs. <laughs> With You're respect. So cute. You don't know. Oh and dignity. Hello, how are Hello. you? Hello, nice to see you, my dog. Would you, uh, My dog. Sit, please? <laughs> and Thank I'll give you. you a treat. It's tech news.